Amsterdam calling. So pick up. about the ferry is that it's um, it's very diverse and it's a cross-section of the population of Amsterdam. I had one person tell me the only two places where everyone comes together are the ferry and the football field. I really felt like on the boat while we're all in that kind of suspended state between two points you had a real opportunity really getting to know the people around you and it's this kind of period of rest or suspension between the busy things you're doing in your life. A lot of us look forward to that little ferry ride even though it's only about 10 minutes of our lives because we know I can I can finally just sit still for a minute even if it is something really uh, inane like flipping through my phone or even just like staring out the window that people have that quiet moment in their day and that we kind of can cathartically enjoy that with them. I think that's what um, ended up appealing to people about um, the sketches. Now we're at the NDSM Treehouse. This is where I have my studio now. This whole area is uh, being reserved by the city of Amsterdam as um, place that's reserved for creative development right now. And one of the best things about the NDSM Treehouse is that it's so close to the ferry, right over there. This is my glamorous uh, container studio. In the front we have a wood-burning stove for heat. This writing desk was left to me by the previous inhabitant. my images and kind of move forward as an artist and as an illustrator and I took some of the sketches and developed them into these more stylized four color silkscreen prints and so the idea is that this will eventually also be an exhibit which shows both kind of these personal portraits and this passage of time with um, a connecting color palette and an installation with the film. So I take those little sketches and then I develop them further in Photoshop because I can uh, put each color in a separate layer. This is where I print up the films that I make the stencils out of. And I print these up here and take them to the silkscreen printing lab. So here we are at the AFA lab. Uh, and this is where I rent a silkscreen printing uh, table. We take these films and we burn them into the screen by coating the screen with emulsion and exposing the stencil into the screen. And then we can use this stencil to run each one of these uh, colors with ink onto the paper. This registration mark looks like a tiny happy face. I mix the silkscreen printing ink. It's, this is my recipe for my navy blue here on the lid. Now we use a squeegee to press the ink through the stencil onto the paper. And then I do this four times, one for each color. That's a wrap. <laughs> See, I did it. I'm a dork. After a month of hard work and cutting them down, now we have the final product. What started off as a little sketch has turned into a four color silkscreen print. The silkscreen prints and postcards are available to purchase on my website. The space is on theferry.nl and we will have a link in the description below. Mm -hmm.